In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Vue.js framework. It's one of the top three frameworks you should know these days, and it's really simple to learn and fun to use. It's a lot like Angular in many ways, but its simple nature makes it a lot more enjoyable, especially for newer coders as a first framework. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have a HTML file here, and that's going to reload onto this page here as I type and save. So let's go ahead and start by using Emmet to just get a basic HTML document set up. Let's say h1, my app. And then let's actually make the app here. So div with an ID of app. I give it an ID of ID. Let's change that to app. So there we go. That's my actual HTML document. Everything else will happen through Vue.js in this ID app here. So let's go ahead and get Vue on the page. We can do that by adding a single script tag unpackage.com slash view. And then let's add a JavaScript file here for us. We'll add main.js. Let's make that main.js file. And there we go. So view is on the page and then it's loading our main.js and the rest of the app can happen in here. Since view is already on the page, we can get started by going const app equals new view. And we're just going to give it an empty object for now. So now we have gone ahead and we have created our application, uh, but it's not mounting on the page anywhere. So we want to tell it to mount to ID app, which is this div element here. So let's go EL, give it a string app. So it's basically going to find that and then it will be mounted onto the page. Now let's go ahead and actually tell this application to create some HTML for us. We can do that by specifying a template value. And this can just be a string. So we can say h1 hi. And now our application will re-render and we will see that our app has, boom, said hello to us. I'm going to actually change this to an ES6 template string so I can go multi-line and it'll be a lot easier. So now I can go h1 like this, hi. Uh, what I cannot do is I cannot add two different elements without a wrapping tag. You need to return one top level tag. I'll show you what this means. So hi, and then this will fail. Hello. You can see I'm going to get an error here in the console that says, whoops, uh, seeing two tags here, you can only return one root element. Uh, so what you do in this case is you just return a div that has multiple elements inside of it, as many as you want. Basically, as long as you return one top level element, you'll be good with your view template. So let's do a little bit more before we end this video. Let's go ahead and create some data values and get those real time injecting into our application. So if you create a data object, this object can be as big or as small as you want it to be. Let's start real simple here. Let's just say name, Bobby, age 25. So there we go. We've created that object here and instead of saying hi hello let's say name and then you can use mustache syntax the template automatically gets these data values put in in a mustache type of syntax so i can say uh give me the name value and i can say give me the age value so now those will spit out right now we'll see name bobby age 25. You can also make this as deep as you want it to be. So I could say Bobby, let's make a whole object just for him. Bobby Boone. And then let's say there's John here. I don't know why I always use hillbilly names. It just seems fun, I guess. Um, so then we can actually say John.name we say john.age. So now we'll spit out John's name and John's age. Let's change this one down here to be Bobby name, Bobby age. So you can basically do as many dots as you want and keep going deeper and deeper into that data. So there we go. So now we have John and Bobby and we're spinning out their names and ages. So I'll leave you at that for now for this video. That's how you get started with your very first view app, get it connected to the DOM, uh, spit out some data. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to use this data in a more complex way, loop through items, um, and interact with user events.